Hello guys, so I'm going to show you how to use CAM 3.0 for FPS monitoring and PC monitoring in general. So I showed you how to use CAM 2.0 in the past, but since then the program has been updated and today the version 3.0 was released. So some things changed, so I'm going to tell you how to use it once more. To download CAM, just press on the link below in the description then click on download now and the download will start you don't need to register so i will download it to the desktop there it is and after it's downloaded what you can do if you want is to sign up using social media or just create an account with your email but i'm going to go to the desktop and run the, the installer so here it is I'm going to zoom in, you double click on it, you have to wait here, you click next, you accept the terms in the license agreement, click next. You can add this if you have NCXT hardware in your PC, Such is, this will control the lights and stuff like that. I don't have any so I press next, then you choose the folder if you so desire. If not, just click next, then click install, and it will install like any program. So it's finished. It says that you must restart your PC, so I'll be right back after I restart. Restarted my PC, so now this should show up automatically. So this is Cam. Then, you, if you register, you put your email address and password. If you don't, you can continue as a guest too. So you press continue as guest if you didn't make an account. Yeah, here it's in that you. It's telling you that it's in guest mode. You put continue in guest mode, and this will show up. This is the name of the PC. And these are the specs. I have an Intel Core i7 4790 and a GTX 750 Ti. The RAM is crucial, 8 gigabytes. And my motherboard is an ASRock 8, H81M DGS R 2.0. So you press here, let's dive in. And it will show you some instructions. You can skip that here. So first, I'm going to show you how to monitor your frame rate. So you press here. You click on settings, then you go to FPS overlay, and you click here, enable cam overlay. So here you can choose your preset for the overlay to show into the game. You can choose to see just the frame rate, the average minimum and maximum F frame rate, the resolution the game is running at, the RAM usage, the CPU usage, as you can see it changes here some effects such as vSync and the time. Then you can change the fonts if you, if you want. You have this to choose from. Then you can choose the size of the font. There's small, medium, large and extra large. I usually use extra large so it's visible in the videos. And you can select this, that is a scale font with resolution. That means that if you change resolutions, the font should stay the same size, no matter the resolution you choose. And here you can change the color of it if you want, as you can see. Okay, then you can choose the position of the overlay in the bottom left, bottom right, or the top right. You can choose any of those you want. And then the shortcut keys is, well, to toggle the overlay. If you press Shift and O, the overlay should appear or disappear, and if you press Shift then T when the overlay is showing up, it will change to different positions. You can change from top left, top right, to bottom right, to bottom left, using Shift T. You can change this too if you want, to Alt and a key that you set yourself. So I'm going to keep it like that, and save the changes. Okay, so after that you should be able to see the frame rate on games. So now what you can see here in the main part of the program, you can see your CPU, your GPU with its temps and well, the usage of each. Then the RAM, you can see the how much RAM is being used. 
And here you can see which programs are taking, well, RAM usage at the moment, and, well, the percentage. You can also see here the drives. This is my C drive and SSD, 120 gig SSD. They use and free space, the same with my HDD. And I also have a, an external HDD that you can select clicking on this arrow right here. As you can see here, it's a two terabyte drive, around two terabytes. And, well, you can also see your build, as you can see here, your processor, and a lot of information, important information that you may want to know. The max TDP, 84 watts from the i7, the type of socket, the frequency, the same with the video card, the default clock, the turbo clock, the sh unified shaders, and the max TDP, which is 60 watts. Then the motherboard, here's the model, the chipset, the cell bridge, the BIOS version, and the BIOS date. Then the, technology, uh, the memory says which type of technology it's using, the manufacturer, the capacity, uh, well, the type of memory and timings. Then for the drives, for the storage, you can see what type of storage it is, which format. In this case, it is NTFS for all my three drives and how much space is being used and how much power in hours as you can see here I use my drives a lot then if you click here on edit PC you have to log in to use it so I will do it later you can click on games well you have to log in to use this too so if you want to change the name of your PC and see some stats in your games you need to log in first so now I can also show you the advanced tab. Here it says how much CPU usage on each core. I'm now using less cores. I disabled some cores from the i7, so I'm using just two at the moment because I was about to record a video. But as you can see here, is it says the usage of each core and the temperature. You can see that in minutes, in some minutes, in the hour, in today, or in the week. You can do the same with the GPU, see the motherboard temperatures and use of the fans too, then the RAM usage and at which time each well each part of the graph was being used. Then for the HDD you have a lot of other things that you can see. And then you can see the well the internet usage. Okay, so this one right here is the same as the here, the one up here. So you can see two things at the same time. As you can see, those are the same. And then you have the expanded view, which shows you the stats here. You can see the minimum and the maximum temperature of each core. The same from the GPU. Uh, well, for the motherboard, you can see the voltages and the temperatures and the fan RPM. So for the RAM, the HDD and the internet. Then you can see your specs again here as we saw before with a, bit, a little bit more detail for each component and then you can see the top apps. We, what means by top apps is the top usage of the app at the moment. So at the moment CAM is the only thing that is using some of my PC at the moment. And now after we did all this we can click here and log in if you so desire. So now I'm going to log in. Okay, so I'm logged in, as you can see. So now I'm going to show you, as you um, in the build, you can edit your PC and you can change the name of your PC. I'm going to put Santiago, Santiago PC. And you can also put your PC part bigger link here if you want. You save the changes and as you can see, it changed it to Santiago, Santiago's PC. This is, well, 
you can manage your computers if you want. This is the current PC. This is the another PC I tried on. And as you can see, you can change that. Then if you go to games, you can put start now and it will get you to cam settings. As you can see what I showed you before, the FPS overlay settings. So after, we already did that, so there is no need to touch it again. And after you set that up, you can open a game. I'm going to open Sherlock Holmes Crimes and Punishments. So I can show you what I mean. Okay, so when I open the game, I press Shift, then O, and it will show up the overlay. With Shift and T, you can change it. You can change the position. And as you can see, it shows all that, well, that we selected at the beginning. So now I can exit the game. And it should show here in the games tab, the game that we played. In this case, it's called Sherlock. The minimum frame rate, the average frame rate, and the maximum frame rate. And how much time we played it. And well, when we started playing too. So you can see here, it will generate a graph saying well, how, how much FPS we got on this game. And you could filter it by hour or by minute. If you play like three hours, you will see a entire graph here. If you choose hour, and well, if you choose minute, you will see the complete graph there, and it will tell you the average frames per second. And well, you can also capture the screen from cam, and you can save it to your desk. As you can see, save it to this or save it to the cloud if you have an account. And well, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.